right. How many times have you walked into a room and you've completely forgotten why you went there? Hmm? Or you set your keys down someplace and then you just can't quite remember where you put them? Or um, how about uh, you find them in your refrigerator? <laughs> well, it happens to the best of us. And after the age of 30, yes, as young as 30, you will likely experience these memory lapses more and more. And for some, it can become serious, leading to Alzheimer's disease or dementia. The good news is there are a lot of things you can do for better brain health today and in the future. So back with us today to talk about some easy solutions is Dr. Mike Smith of Life Extension. Nice to have you here. Well, thank you for having me back. It's awesome to okay, be here. Okay, we're going to talk about the brain today. And, right. uh, you know, menopausal women uh, freak out because uh, we, we dial the phone mm -hmm. and then we can't remember right. who we dialed. Right. And women laugh when they go to lunch about, oh, I'm having a senior moment. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's funny because I think that's the beginning of, of brain deterioration. Right. Is that right? Well, people ask me all the time, is it normal to forget things? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, t in today's world, the answer is yes, but I don't think it should be, right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, you know, funny story. My sister called me recently, right? And she forgot why she called me. So we, just, so we just had a conversation, you know, brother, sister talking. She called me two days later, and she's like, I remember why I called. I'm like, why? She wanted a brain supplement, a memory supplement. She <laughs> forgot why she called. Yeah. So, yes, it, it, it is in our everyday experience, we're forgetting things. But the brain is so powerful. Mm -hmm. It really, billions of brain cells. Right. And what's, what we're learning today, Suzanne, is the most important part of that is how each brain cell connects to another brain cell. Okay. So you're talking about brain connections. How do we make brain connections? Well, yeah, the brain connections are called synapses, and it's actually probably the most important part to the brain. Is this it? That's, yeah, so what you got on top and bottom is a nerve cell, and so you got two nerve cells in that picture, right? Right. Where they come together is called the synapse. That's the connection. That's how they talk to each other. Oh. The more connections, the higher quality the connections, the better you're going to think and the better you're going to remember things. What causes us to lose those connections? Well, I think there's a variety of things going on. Mm -hmm. I think age, for one, it just happens. We break down a little bit as we get older. But here's something that's scary. In the industrialized nation, specifically the United States, dementias are far greater in prevalence than any other country, right? Yes. Something is going on in our environment, and we've talked about the toxins before. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Nerve cells are very, very prone to toxin and insult and injury. So could it be something in our environment that's kind of speeding all this up? I think so. Really where the solutions are are the foods. Okay. Um, even brain exercises. So that's kind of what I want to talk about, ways to exercise your brain. Okay. And then ways to feed your brain. All I right. think that's let's, really the key. Let's talk about exercising our brain. Well, remember, what we're trying to do is make more connections, right? Yes, right. Okay. Those are breaking down. We got to make better connections. Right. One of the best things you can do is learn something new. Do you like crossword puzzles? I don't. I hate them too. I hate them. I do. My dad loves them. He has books, you know, gets everything I... out in the morning and makes this big production about it. Crossword puzzles, they make brain connections. What you're doing, you're engaging different parts of your brain mm -hmm. in, a, in a crossword yeah. puzzle, so certain nerve cells are now connecting to new nerve cells. You're making new highways, basically. I really think learning a new language is a good one. I, I, you know, that yeah. is a, a, a great idea. And you don't have to do idea. it to speak fluently. Just, you know, learn some vocabulary. Learn yeah. some of the grammar. It's the act. It's the action of engaging those brain right. cells. That's really what's important. I used to um, live in the south of France. I went every year for 18 years for a long time. And I spoke really good French if I had a couple glasses of wine in me. <laughs> but it was like children's French. So what I just say is, I eat now. Je okay. mange maintenant. Okay. Well, speaking right. of eating, yes. the brain needs certain types of foods. Okay. Yeah. You know, we think of, um, you know, like blueberries, for instance. Mm -hmm. I think most people know powerful brain brain food here, yes, right? Yes, and powerful antioxidants. Yes, you know, you, you, we need to cook with blueberries, put them on your cereals, yogurts, whatever you want to do, powerful, we know that. Walnuts are full of the essential oils, uh, has some omega-6s, some omega-3s. You know, a handful of walnuts a day, that's, that's good for memory, absolutely. And I love them. Olive oil, everybody's talking about olive oil, and they should. There's so many good, not just the monounsaturated fats, but the antioxidants. Interestingly, the more olive oil you use every day, the less of a chance you have of dying from any cause. That was just published in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition a few that, months ago. 
is so exciting. Not, it's not just your brain. There are antioxidants in there that actually keep you alive for a long time. That is great. What else have you got? Coconut. Coconut. There's so much buzz about coconut. But, you know, the original Alzheimer's studies, mm -hmm. I don't, well, don't want to say original Alzheimer's studies, but a lot of the dementia studies in the 80s and 90s used coconut oil. And they have a lot of fat. Well, mo guess what your brain mostly is? Fat. Right. Lots of cholesterol in the brain, lots of saturated fat in the brain, a lot of the omega oils in the brain. So a lot of the early studies showed that coconut oil could improve cognitive function in Alzheimer's patients pretty dramatically. Great information. Now, magnesium. Magnesium, you know, is used in about 300 chemical reactions in the body. Heart, muscle, joints, and your brain. But the problem is when you eat magnesium-rich foods, that mm -hmm. magnesium doesn't really get to the brain. It takes a very special kind of magnesium. It's called magnesium 3 and 8. 3 and 8. 3 and 8. This is the latest research. Magnesium 3 and 8 actually crosses what's called the blood-brain barrier, delivers the magnesium to the brain cell. And why, that, why that's important? Mm -hmm. Magnesium is needed to make the connections. Um, and is this a supplement? It's probably, yeah, it, magnesium 3 and 8 is going to be done in supplement form. Well, who wouldn't want to take that? And who doesn't want to eat these incredible foods and improve your brain Exercise. and, and uh, learn a new language? Exercise the brain. Uh-huh. Simple foods. Yes. This isn't difficult. No. This is not hard. No. And it's tasty. Mm -hmm. And then some magnesium 3 and 8, your memory's going to be better. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you tell me? the name of the website so we can find out all yes. about this? LEF.org. LEF.org. You got it. You're great. Thank You're you. You're just a font of information. It's I love awesome talking to, to you. Thank you okay? so much, Suzanne. Thanks, Mike. We'll be back. To learn more about what you've heard today on The Suzanne Show, sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway, brought to you by Life Extension. You'll receive a free special report all about what to do if you're getting forgetful. Plus, you'll get a free one-year Life Extension membership with no obligation and access to groundbreaking information for longer life. You'll also be entered for a chance to win exciting prizes every week, including a luxury cruise. Sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway at SuzanneTV.com or at the Suzanne Show Facebook page.